So, at this point, Yogstoth and Google Frog are going to be fighting a one-on-one. Yogstoth did beat Snungle Base. Interesting. Now, mm -hmm. are Yogstoth and Google Frog... They haven't started yet. Awesome, let's watch that, because... Yeah. There's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I figured this would happen. Right? That would probably... Losers round four would be one we'd watch. Well, good. I was correct. <laughs> now, I just gotta remember to actually type things in. Or, or I guess losers pre-finals? I don't know. I'll, I'll go pre-finals, why not? So game one of this, I think, is also Eye of Horus. No, it's into battle, actually. Hmm. That's a fun map. That is one I haven't seen a whole lot of. It's it's more fun than it looks, I guess, is the best way of putting it. Yeah. So let's see. We're going to have uh, Yogg and Google, then, for this one? That is correct. I wonder if that uh, plays Goda for a chance of redemption against Drone, then. Correct. That is Beautiful. how it goes. Yeah, well, that's going to be interesting. I think we are going to see... What are we going to see here? Let's think about this. Yogg-Sothoth and Google Frog. Wait, where'd they go? Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> I almost missed that. Ooh, good catch. Almost, wow. Yeah, just yeah. as the game was starting. Just as the start would happen. Wow. Okay, anyway. Yeah. So, where was I? What are we going to see? Oh yeah, what we're going to see against between those two players. So Yogg, well, we've seen so far that Yogg is kind of a tricky player. Well, they try to be. Like they they have. Well, it's kind of hard to say because I, mean, I was going to say they don't have the best macro ability, but I'm thinking against Drone, who's clearly shown to be an <laughs> exceptional macro player. Right. So let's not quite go that far. It's quite a yardstick to measure them by. <laughs> yeah. It's like well, they aren't a million meters long, so they're kind of short. They didn't beat the number one player, so... So they suck. They're terrible. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not Seriously. Very, eh. No, never never think that. If you're ever playing something and you can't beat the top player, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't don't think too badly of yourself. All right, so it looks like Cloakie's from Google Frog. Yep, which is mm. not surprising. I mean, this map actually sports a fair number of factories. It's a little surprising. Usually you see light vehicles in this factory. Yeah, I was going to say, light vehicles seem like the most common choice. I wonder Yog what the logic no is. No clue. What is Yaw going to go for? I mean, we saw that Yogg did... Actually, you know what? No, I'm giving Yogg too little credit. I mean, in that Bandit Plains game, Yogg, mm -hmm. they actually had a couple chances in that game. Mm -hmm. They pushed hard. Yeah, he so opened they know up what they're doing. with what I thought was really good aggression. He went for map control. He had a plan for the expansion, so... And a lot I mean, of nice little tricks, too, for where they expanded to throw off yeah. drone to keep mm -hmm. themselves more secure, and then from there, take the area. It was only a, a few small execution errors here and there. It was like tiny mistakes that ended up doing them in which at this level of play is what ends up doing you in anyway right but still it was like when you're when it's tiny mistakes that do you in you know you're at the high level of play so hey, and i think this is a no map shame. that will uh that will accommodate those same types of strategies oh he's starting in the northwest oh they're going, they're going for factory. cheese mm, do you think he's going to try and That's scorch your dive spot. yeah because sure. yeah. the standard location to start is the northeast and southwest it's right. much like red comet so mm. starting in the northwest or southeast typically signals that you want to go for a very aggressive strategy early on because you want to take the close positions. But your opponent, they expect you to go southwest. No one goes northwest, or very few people go northwest. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry, people. The, the game hasn't started yet. Now it's started, but you can see it. See so a Yogg in the northwest corner going for the cheese. Probably going to go for the cheese. I was going for an early dart. This is a mistake. Well, you definitely need a scout, but it is going to reveal that he started in this northwest position if he sends it in from here. And they are. Ah, mm -hmm. that is a mistake. Definitely going to tip off Google Frog. Google Frog, Google Frog already scouting for him. <laughs> He's already scouting there. They wow. know this is a thing. Great. Which, read. I mean, they should. So, I mean, to send your first scout there means you really suspect this to be the case. Well, it's a good read, but also if you think about the timings when it comes to a player in the southwest versus a player in the northwest, mm -hmm. scouting like that's a wise choice. Yeah. I, you're, if you do that and you're wrong, you aren't going to lose much, especially with the second scout going towards the southwest. Right. So there's no time lost, really. Oh, whoops. You can see you can't hear. Let's turn that. Let's change that up. 
But this dart doing a pretty good job, though. Yogstoth. Oh, you right as I say that. Oh, no. Yogstoth <laughs> still keeping that out of yeah, there. Just get it away. Never mind. I was actually now. right. Uh, poking in, going to get chased away by the Scorcher. So uh, it doesn't look like... I'm not seeing any indicators of like a heavy all-in Scorcher Dive no, cheese you're right. type thing. This isn't quite the red common cheese. Although, admittedly, that also involved Hovercraft. But, yeah. Interesting. Generally, it is still a close start, though. Like, Yogstoth does want to... I think they still want to play the shorter micro game. Hmm. That just seems like the only reasonable option, given what they have. I wonder why you would start in the Northwest if you weren't planning on going for an all-in. I don't... It seems like economically so disadvantageous. It is. The only upside I could see is that you could constantly... You can, well, take this ridge pretty easily in the Northwest. And mm. also, you're constantly in a position where your opponent has to be mindful. It can't... They have to respect the, your control of the North side. Mm. And the thing is, you have a path to the South, but the thing is, they can't just take the North... Think about it. Northeast to Southwest... The Northeast player and the Southwest player can just take North and South pretty much with impunity. Right. They might get harassed along the sides, but it'd be a longer harassment route. So mm -hmm. it's easier to defend against. There's less reinforcements coming in. In this case, however, the North side can't really be taken. Yogg's is actually camping out there. Yeah. The two North Mexes. Really stymieing the expansion here. Or potentially, anyway. <laughs> so I think that's the reason why they're doing that. Now, at this point, Yogg's just... They're expanding themselves. Getting their workers out. And, Drone, sorry, Google Frog hasn't really had much chance to push out and losing that radar. Whoa. That's a, is that a big loss? Let's see. Eh, I mean, it's a hassle. You have to stop, rebuild it, interrupt what you were doing with your I was commander. Actually trying to figure out if they had radar cover, had previous radar coverage. They oh. don't, but the lack of it didn't actually lose them any information in this case. Sure. Still, oh, the north side is so vulnerable. Okay, not totally vulnerable. Yogstoth is wise to retreat, but the those glaives, that's it. Google Frog relying a lot on. They're mobile defenses. Mm. They don't want to worry about static defenses. It's mobile defenses or bust. Interesting. Looks like he's trying to set up a little bit of a defender wall across this northern approach just to stop Yogg's from coming in here with uh, with impunity. Yeah, well, it's... It's going to be tricky. The Yogg's is coming in on all sides. Google Frog is mm -hmm. kind of getting contained. Yeah, if you can uh, keep lightly. Google Frog off balance, then you might be able to get a couple of these traders and deal some serious damage. Yeah, this is not so much a soft contain as it's, mean, it's a harassment to force your opponents back. It's, it's. I don't want to make too many Starcraft references, but it's basically Mutalisk ride. <laughs> the entire reason for that, it's the same idea. You raid around, forcing their military back. You keep them from really being able to push out to defend an expansion if they wanted to take it. Mm -hmm. Although in 0k and like Starcraft, you can naked expand much more easily. Oh yeah. So it's not as effective. Because, yeah, sure, your main base gets a lot of pressure, but then again, you might have half the map under your control by the time they're done. Mm, <laughs> because mm. you're just gone and expanded while being attacked. Right. You can actually do that. But that's still a risky thing to do, and that's not what Google Frog's going for, and that Yogstoth... Wow, that was wow. too many slashers. Yeah. Too, too many slashers were killed in that fight. Surprising loss. Ooh, these Scorchers are in a bit of trouble as well. Big and there's no players. levelers or anything to deal with this. The slashers are... Ah, look at this. Oh. Mm. I wanted to see Google Frog juke up to the north with these uh, lineup glaives here, but I don't think that's what we'll see. Yeah, that wouldn't be the best option anyway. Look at the way the defenses are laid out. It's possible if they really hug the north wall. Yeah, I think you could I think you could hug along the north edge, and then it's pretty much, I mean, nothing in your way. Yeah, sure. It's just that, really? How do you know if that's the case? Exactly. Because Google yeah. Frog doesn't. Like, they they right. can't. They have mm -hmm. an idea that there's some static defense, and I suppose if they know, they might have memorized the range of the defender, or they can sp spot their own to figure out if these are defenders, how much range would they have. But they don't know that they're defenders, and I don't know if they're going to go for it not knowing. No. They just see a bunch of blobs that aren't moving very much. It would be reasonable to assume. However, they are sending a scythe, and so they scythe, will know. Here we go. They will He will know. have the scout, and then he'll probably have defensive ranges. I would imagine set up so that uh, he'll know exactly where those defenders cover. Yep, and think... these Scorchers going down as well. Yep. And the Scythe about to spot what's going on. So Google Frog at this point sees one of the defenders, not all of them though. So they have an idea about where one of them is, not where all of them are, but they probably infer from there. We'll see though, if they attack the north, we'll know. Just sort of poking around right now with the Scythe. Well, I feel like it's good. Look at how little Yogstoth's expanded. That's yeah, kind of see, surprising. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this economic advantage from Google Frog. I mean, those North expansions, Google Frog's taken them. Yeah, they've put a bit more in the way of defenses, but 
they still taken him. Yeah. It's not like it's really changed that much. And at the same time, Yogstoth didn't take advantage of the harassment to really expand. Yep. So I just think it might have been a mistake for Yogstoth to go for that Northwest, given that they weren't planning on going that all in. Yeah, I would agree with that. I feel like if you were going for some sort of Scorcher Cheese, that would have been perfect. But in any other situation, I feel like you're giving up too much. Mm -hmm. I would almost say that Google Frog is better poised to take the Southwest west than Yogsatop is just with the way that google frog has his units set up he can yes. put more firepower there at least to defend an expansion Yogsatop is forced to uh keep most of his units at home it looks like maybe not forced to but that's certainly what he's doing yeah that ridge the one plateau that they're trying to take and keep and mm -hmm. even then they're having a hard time but that's the thing is like a lot of pressure here on his commander as well it's a squishy recon com as well yeah, rather surprisingly, not building up the metal extractors as quickly as they could. Mm -hmm. uh, darn it. Sorry, keep keep going. Uh, no worries. Uh, yeah, a few more sides coming out now from Google Frog. I think this is a good idea, at least to have a couple on hand in case uh, there's some heavy slasher investment, which is what we're seeing from Yagzatoth. So these sides are going to be perfect for dealing with that, especially in combination with the glaives here. Yeah, Google Frog's definitely in a better position to apply pressure here to Yogg's position. Oh, here we see the uh, sides now are moving into the slasher line. Uh, lining up towards the edge. No, it doesn't look like they'll be committing to an attack. If the sides can uh, catch those slashers while they're moving, though, Which they can take they it will. out. Yeah, the slashers are moving right into that scythe line. This is not going to work out nicely. Uh, they're just going to shred it apart. It's Yeah. Well, that. Down with, Plus down goes splash two of damage. Them. Down goes uh, all of them. That's yes. it. That, I Beautiful. Think, Every one of those slashes well, is gone. Well, Yogg, at the same time, they're reclaiming a decent amount. They are getting trying to get economic parity. So there's that. But even then, I don't see much... Oh, this big Scorcher graveyard. That's so many dead Scorchers. Oh, there's a uh, gunship plant up here on the north side with a couple of rapiers coming out from Google Frog. Oh, yep. Yeah, there is. And that's... Interesting. I don't really work? think he needed to switch, but I think having some extra mobility there is going to help him out to uh, seal this off. Well, yeah, the Southwest would be even easier to take with that. Yeah. I mean, Google Frog actually is at economic parity with Yogg-Sothoth, mm -hmm. but once they get cranes and rapiers together, it's just not going to work. Although, right. there is a Rector going down, or Conjurer, rather, going down. So at mm -hmm. least that main base is still getting pressure all the time. yogg still pushing that. Mm -hmm. Google Frog not really all that set up for stack defense along the south side of their main base. So there is that opening. And another metal extractor goes down. The Yogg's Dots, they're keeping the pressure up. That's good. And now they are taking the southwest. They're making sure to do so. They do have the slashers as well. And the defenders on top of that. Now the defenders haven't spotted out, but there's, there are enough slashers. I think those rapiers are not going to have as much of a chance as probably oh. Google Frog would hope. These sides are actually moving down to the southwest. It looks like away from the slasher lines pushing in towards Google's base. Yeah. I think they might be a little bit out of position if these slashers keep pushing forward. Uh, it looks like uh, heading okay, back Okay, and they're now. moving up now, but even then, that's still kind of risky. Definitely have to. If they're cl too close to the defenders, though, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, clutch saving. Of, oh, wow. I was say, clutch saving of the mason, although the last missile smacked straight into the mason. would have been hilarious if it had killed it in the process, <laughs> but no. Thankfully for Yogg's they did not friendly fire their mason to death. Uh -oh. That was still risky, though. A couple of shots being taken on this recon commander by the side. It's fine. It's jump. It has defenses to jump. Oh no, Yogg's not uh, paying attention. More behind it. If Yogg's was attention. paying attention, oh, it would be fine. Commander goes down. Look at that. Ah, if Yogg's could have jumped, they could have oh, gotten out of the worst. way. Yep, he absolutely could have survived and that. And they had they had nests to jump to. Oh, that is so oh, painful. Boy, and that has been the thing that's been that has been crippling Yogg's is that. They haven't been paying attention to things right as they happen. I don't know if they have the left click on minimap to actually let you move position. I find that extremely helpful. Oh, probably yeah. Probably because of having played StarCraft and having to do that. I mean, I quite like zooming in and out, but still, mm. being able to click around the minimap when stuff happens. Critical. Extremely handy. And that's the thing. Like, Yogstoth, they've got really good... They have great ideas. They have great... They generally do have, when they're paying attention, great micro. It's just mm -hmm. when they're not paying attention, getting back to paying attention tends to be a problem for them. Okay, the glaives are down. The brawlers not going down as quickly as Yogstoth would like. One of the downsides of those slashers. Where are the crashers? There should be a couple of those. Just two. Right, yeah. But that'd be enough. Especially just to help support these slashers. I mean, the slashers are doing all right to uh, 
I, I don't know. Maybe not all right. They are pushing the brawlers away eventually. But well, you want slashers more than you want crashers because the slashers deal with ground. It's just sure. the crashers can move while attacking mm -hmm. or attack while moving. But that's yeah. the biggest difference is that you don't have that's to be point. rooted in the they ground. Actually chase, yeah. It's not so much that they can chase. It's that they can run away. Because brawlers, remember, they were nerfed a few months ago so that their range was like a little bit lower than that of most anti-air. So that mm. anti-air could kite them. Oh, I didn't realize but, that. Yeah, but slashes can't do that because slashes are stationary. Right. Yeah, it was a while ago. I think it was primarily focused around gremlins to make sure gremlins could kite them. But in general, anti-air can kite brawlers. Mm. Except for slashers, which are flex AA and are stationary when firing. I see. However, look at this. Seven slashers with the commander right there. And Yogstoth Ooh, knows wait. it. <laughs> Yogstoth has commander on radar. They know the commander's there. Oh, they know they can man. start attacking. Just needs to scoot him a little bit forward. No, I think what they're trying to... I think they're a little unsure they can actually take it. Yeah, especially and with the brawlers there. Actually, I think especially with the stinger there, too. The brawlers mm -hmm. would just be hit directly, so it's not like it'd be that big of a deal. The brawlers would be hit. And the crasher is out. So with these crashers, now the slashers will have a better chance. And over to the south side, slasher getting torn apart by some glaives. Able to get rid of a conjurer? Yeah. Oh, not quite! Just, One wow. missile away from getting rid Miraculous of that conjurer. Save. But at the same time, getting rid of a metal extractor over the east side of the map, and the stinger has been spotted. The commander has been targeted. This is a Google pretty Hawk intimidating force right outside of Google's base. Oh, yeah. Bit of a definitely. with all these slashes here. I think Yogstoth may still have had something going for having their their start location really close to, Yogg's, to Google Frogs. Like, it's mm -hmm. risky, but on the one hand, it is a proxy. Like, that's the entire reason why it made sense in the first place for aggression. Yeah. And why it helps now for contain. But it was still, there was that moment where I wasn't too sh totally sure just because they weren't using it. But now they're and taking the southwest. Yeah, he's really finally creeping well. down through the southwest here. I think once he gets these uh, workers in swing and building up these metal extractors, he'll be in a really good position, but only if he can hold for that long against this yeah, force which, from Google. Yeah, I don't Google. know. These brawlers are really causing a problem. That brawler's yeah. going to survive, no problem. Especially all, with the glaive support uh, here. All the ground units going down. And now Ooh. the glaive is going for the defenses. Yeah. Actually, going south as well. There's a lot of defenders, though. I don't think they'll be able to break this position. The south? No. The south is completely secure. The north, however, that's a bit trickier. Ah, nice, though. Use of Wolverines. That's yep. what you need. Oof. Waste the stinger shots, too. Oh! Oh, my slashers there, because they're not mobile, it doesn't help. I was thinking they could come in with the slashers while the stinger is distracted. They can't do that, though. The scorchers could do that, but there mm. are no scorchers. And yeah, yeah, there we go. The glaives all going down to the defenders. That was definitely a safe thing. Over, however, to the north, Rock was with defenders. The Rock was win. Or rather, the center. The Rock was win. Mm -hmm. And over to the north, we have hammers, and hammers win. Mm -hmm. so looks like Google side, Frog's going to be tearing apart this uh, northern position, or at least yeah. the uh, fortifications on the ridge here. I don't know. It might open up a window for him to just sort of charge through. I can see some Zeus is being built up as well. They're taking it. They're taking that window. Scorch is coming in to try to defend against that. You're right. There's knock, knock, Zeus coming in. Toss. I'm on my way in. Yogstoth knows. They're responding. They're actually Ooh, paying attention. Hooray! Nice, Yogstoth's paying Scorchers attention. Have their eyes open. Tearing apart those Rakos, too. Just the right call. Although the Glaive's going to make that a problem. But still, that's that was still a good call. Just... Oh, the Hammers. That's a bigger deal. Get rid of those. Those are gone. So now at this point, the Wolverines can't get rid of the... Oh, the Stinger's almost dead, too. Wow. Well, half health, but the amount of Wolverines in there... It's, it's looking tricky. fairly even right now. It is. Yogstoth's managed... I mean, they were a bit in the back foot, but they managed to get up there. Google Frog, mm. however, is ahead economically and militarily by cost. The Brawlers being the primary reason they're ahead, but they're still ahead, technically speaking. Yeah, Yogstoth just needs a solid answer for these uh, Brawlers. I think it's absolutely worth it to air switch and build a couple of Hawks, right? I mean, there's so much metal in these Brawlers. I think they're thinking to go for Trident instead, if you notice. Trident... Oh, I didn't see this gunship factory coming yeah. up. Yeah. Tridents, tridents make sense too to me. Tridents make a bit less sense to me, but I still think... Actually, Rapiers probably would make more sense. Mm, because that way the Brawlers would be dealing less damage in the meantime as they're being killed. Because right now they're able to tear apart all these defenders. It seems like recently gunships have been favored as the uh, switch factory over air. Very recently. Very recently. And even but, then uh, it's one of those things that's a little bit more high level. Like I haven't seen yeah. a lot in lower level play. Absolutely, I would it's agree with that. more comfortable to go for air. But I definitely have seen a lot more gunships in high-level play than I have recently in the 1v1 room. Well, like I said, Ravens were nerfed. Yep. I don't remember the exact details. I thought it was they weren't diving anymore, but they were nerfed, and I think that might be encouraging players to go for gunships instead. 
Because mm -hmm. gunships, they know, will be able to deal the damage they need. They know what gunships can do. Mm -hmm. But Ravens right now aren't as strong. Yeah, absolutely. And they're at the Tridents. That is exactly what Yogstuff is going for. But at the same time, so can... Oh, Valkyries. Oh, Zeus drop. Or Warrior Zeus drop. Zeus oh, drop. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Classic. that's what it is. Classic goo that's... frog to finish a game with a uh, unit drop into the base here. <sighs> I wow. Yogstuff has been way too timid with the Scorcher. The Stinger, I mean. That Stinger could have been killed a long time ago if they moved the Slashers up. They would have lost a couple of them, but far fewer than I think they realize. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to just grind it down, but there's the Caretaker and the Commander repairing it, so, I mean, this Stinger could tank for quite a while. It'll tank for the rest of the game. Yeah. There's no killing it. Not the way yeah. the Yogstad's going after it. And this is why I don't totally agree with Tridents. Because Brawlers yeah. can hit air. Wow, look at that. I had no idea. That is yeah. surprising. That's the scary thing. Brawlers and gunships have this weird interaction between air and ground, but brawlers don't really have much limitations as to what they can hit. It's just that most planes tend to move too quickly. Oh, he's not even dropping these Zeus's. He's no, just going to steamroll no these slashers. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that Yogg has a has an answer to this. Well, Yogg is trying to answer with Scorchers. Not sure to what end. They seem to be going to the southwest again to try to take that out, but at this point, I don't really know. The Zeus. The problem with the Zeus is trying to deal with, like, how do you deal with them with light vehicles? You, have, I suppose, yeah. ravagers, but even then, that's tough. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. Like, impalers seem like an overkill option, especially given the cost. And we do see rapiers, which I do think is a better option in this case. Yeah. Better than yeah, tridents. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Especially given the way that tridents panned out. But we Looks do still like have Valkyries coming in. We do still have a drop in preparation. Yep, yep. Probably just waiting to get enough transports here. Most likely. I mean, yeah, they could steamroll with Zeus's if they wanted to, but they're not going to at this point. They are, in fact, going yeah, for the transport. Be, uh, a little bit stylish about this. Here we go. We have liftoff. Half a dozen. Ah. Need to try out Kane's fixed camera. And that is basically it. That's the I think game. This will do it. Yep. <laughs> that's 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 it. That's game one. Actually, that's the only game because this is losers bracket. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is. There's only one game, and Yogg'Sothoth, very valiant effort, but this is it. Oh yeah, Should've Dominatrix, of course. I'm gonna forget mm -hmm. Dominatrix. It's just a weird one, but yeah. Yeah. Dominatrix would actually counter Zeus if you get enough of them. Mm -hmm. And one last attempt. Yogstaff going for one last shot along the south side. But it's too late now. What I mentioned before about economy and military. Like, if they have military, killing their economy isn't going to do you any good until you kill their military as well. This I, is uh, uh, quite a military advantage from Google Frog. Yeah, about, you know, three times by cost. <laughs> those brawlers never went down either. If wow. those brawlers went down, it would have been a much different game. Those brawlers worked out excellently. They helped take out the slashers. They dislodged Yogg-Sothoth from the southwest. Um, I mean, just those two things alone. You know, Pretty much. Certainly make us, yeah. And that stinger, too. That, I mean, the fact that yogg did not attack that stinger, if they mm -hmm. had, the commander would be dead. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they could have steamrolled this position pretty easily once the stinger went down. I feel like they had enough firepower to take it out with a direct assault. Well, they but, actually uh, did before the stinger went up. They were a bit too timid before the stinger was even built. Yeah. And they yeah, attacked that's a good then. Point. They knew the yep. commander was there. You definitely have to be proactive about dealing with that sort of stuff. If you let it snowball and let them really fortify the position, set up a caretaker to repair the stinger as well, it's much harder to dislodge in the later game than it is early mm -hmm. on. Okay, so that is the pre-finals. So now we're yeah. on to the losers' finals, losers which is going finals. to be on some map, presumably. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be playing on a formless void. 